The following presentation was part of an architectural project investigating the possibility of a New Zealand School of Music in central Wellington. The project was produced in 2015 for Archie 312 Architectural Integration at Victoria University of Wellington. This project was developed using only analogue media to intentionally challenge one's reliance on digital technologies when developing programmatically and structurally complicated forms. No digital 3D modelling was used, nor were any digital fabrication methods such as laser cutting or 3D printing. All final three-dimensional images are extracted from handmade models. As required by this project's brief, architectural planning informed the conceptual architectural development of the music school. Traditionally, this is expressed architecturally through the public, large-scale nature of performance and the contrasting private, small, reclusive and individual nature of practice. Therefore, this experimental architecture proposal explores the hierarchy of musical study where the dominant entity of performance forcibly interacts with all other programs. These dominant volumes are uncompromisingly expressed on site with the grid of heavy structural steel and black plate cladding clearly identifying their significance. To further enhance the prominence of these performance masses, the corners are exaggerated, sharpened and formed to eventually cut into the practice and support elements of the building. On entry, the act of performance is flaunted immediately. An uncompromising translucent wall connects the circulation atrium with the performance space, while the remainder of the building's mass is boundaryless, free, expansive and playful, visibly contrasting with the major performance spaces. In detailed plan, the effect is distinctive. A reversed auditorium where patrons can be asked to walk across the stage before taking their seat is proposed. Facilities to enable in-show flexibility is also detailed with the secondary and non-disruptive entry exit included. Backstage facilities are shared in a basement area and access is through a spacious private stairwell. In minor performance spaces, the effect is repeated. A major secondary entry point to the building also enables education and schooling facilities to be undisrupted by shows or performances. The smaller performance area seats 200 people through the inclusion of a suspended second tier platform. At this first level, the disconnected practice rehearsal and school spaces become apparent. Tutorial rooms and teaching areas are distributed in a way that the majority receive natural light, yet retain a sense of independent privacy. However, this seclusion is opposed by the circulation configuration which at all times directly interacts with the contrasting performance masses. Connection is further emphasised by the contrast of materials. The light, acoustically sealed translucent walls contrast boldly with the heavy steel elements that pull them back to the imposed hierarchy of performance itself. Squeezed between the two performance masses and weighed down by structural components, the act of creation is trying as hard as possible to become free. And thus at night, the magnificent act of experimentation, creative freedom and creation comes alive. The spaces of making float above the weighed down performance volumes. Vivid light diminishes the impact of the structural ties and draws our eyes to the expanse of the school. Activities are identifiable, yet anonymity is assured. A visual harmony is created. At night the building is as much an urban program as it is a school of music. In a sense, the school and the freedom of learning itself is flaunted to all those who use or visit the performance spaces. This architectural project is intentionally experimental and in many ways asks us to reconsider necessary conditions when designing large-scale urban architecture.